Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is my answer to a cover challenge that was set down by Bearded and Cole. That would be Bearded Comic Bros and Cole, my jank brother in arms at Cole's Comic Claims. Links to both of them down below. Uh, and they have done some different cover challenges in the past. And what you have to do is they give you a theme and you get 10 comics. And by the way, I put this up there just so you have something uh, creepy and relatable to look at while I'm rambling. Uh, they give you a theme and you pick 10 comics that you own. Don't necessarily have to have read, but you own that fits the criteria. And this one I'm looking forward to. It took a while to really kind of dig in, but this cover challenge theme is spookiest covers. So I started off. This one does not count. I actually did find 10. I just thought it was cool and I haven't looked through it in a while. It's Jack Cole's Deadly Horror, The Chilling Archives of Horror Comics. But I went through my collection and I found 10 things. And interestingly enough, several of them actually came from other people. And we'll get to them when I see them. But the overwhelming majority, I'm fairly sure, came from those packs at Ollie's. I know this one for a fact did. So Spooky Cover number one. And let me know what you think down below. And remember, Spooky is relative, but you'll see why. The Living Corpse Exhumed, number one from Dynamite. I mean, if if you watched the original Night of the Living Dead, the idea of a living corpse is disturbing. Next, I think this one was a gift from a friend of mine here. Maybe. I can't actually remember. Well, my memory's terrible, but if you, you you'll know what I mean. Uh, but we have Creature Feature, number one. I just love that. Look at it. Like, we got a, a rotting zombie skull with a little soul patch. The Letterman sweater. <clears throat> the whole thing. And it just, it just gives you good October vibes, I would have to say. And this next one, this was number three of a series of three. I do have all three of them. But I liked this one the best in the realms of the spooky nature. Living with the Dead, number three from Dark Horse. We got the the typical, the I shouldn't say typical, but the stereotypical chainsaw, the handguns. But what they forget is, come on, man. It's all about the, the melee weapons because you don't have to worry about reloading. Next up, from the pack of Ollie's. This one, because... This is a Who Done It number two from Eclipse, and if you look, what I like other than the uh, the Chicken Man, I, I don't understand. But you have basically your satanic, demonic goat demon, and basically your creature from the Black Lagoon type. But here was the scary thing: people thought that they would actually win that, and if that isn't spooky, then I don't know what is. But Who Done It? Number two, who slew kangaroo? I don't know. I think it's kind of creepy. But speaking of creepy, there's a lot of creepy stuff on this one. Darkhold, pages from the Book of Sins. Number two, out of the Ollie's packs. I mean, you got here, you've got... I, I, I don't know. But the creepiest thing about... Look at this guy's smile. That is terrifying. Tell me if you saw somebody... Smiling at you like that when you're walking down the street, you wouldn't cross the street. Uh, this, that's one thing. That is terrifying. But next up, actually, I have shown this one before, and we're approaching the end. I just love it. I think we've shown it on my independent ones, but Evil Ernie, just because I love it. I love the cover. I love Evil Ernie. He looks ridiculously, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of spooky. It's Origin of Evil, part one. And this next one actually came from Brian. Brian LCS, and links to him down at the bottom. Links to everybody I'm going to mention down at the bottom. Wild Star number one from Image. That is, it's kind of a, a haunting, it's, it's a very haunting cover. Low color, just the red. It's, you know, you see what I mean. Look at it long enough, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Next one actually came from, and this one, 100%, you're going to get why it's terrifying. Came from Collecting with Durs. Uh, I won one of his giveaways, and this was one of the bonus he threw in there. Savage Spider-Man, number one. We have a variant cover. I'm not sure which one, but 
Yeah. If there was ever a thing that required the phrase, kill it with fire, it would be that. The penultimate comic actually coming from one of the issuers of this challenge. Uh, that would be from Cole, Cole's Comic Claims. He sent me volumes one and two of Hotel, but volume two, it's a great book, by the way. That is horrifying. Like, on the surface, it looks like flames. But no, look in. Yeah, that's a flaming clown monster. Yeah. If you look at that and aren't scared, I I am afraid of you. And the final one, this is one, it's kind of perfect for Halloween. I am going to read it again. I, I enjoyed it. I picked it up on a whim, and I'm kind of glad I did way back when. Good old classic Marvel Zombies. It was really interesting. Uh, you agree with some of them. You don't agree with some of them. But I think that's uh, that's the cool thing. And Robert Kirkman, and actually, there you go. Uh, Arthur Sidem just sent me a return uh, last week, actually. So didn't even notice it, but oddly kind of fitting. So <clears throat> hopefully you enjoyed my 10 spooky covers. And hopefully you can get behind them when I, when I push them as spooky type covers. But... Anyway, links to everybody, Bearded Comic Bros, Cole's Comic Claims, Brian LCS, and Collecting with Durs down below. Thank you guys all for contributing to my collection of comics, which is growing considerably since um, I've ventured into the YouTube realm, and I thank a lot of you guys for it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If anybody else out there has some kind of spooky comics, come on, let's go. I want to see some more. They, I know they're going to be putting up a playlist. And I can't wait to see what else is on there. So hope all's well. Catch you next time.